you don't mind since you already have your Shopify pulled up. If we go to your Shopify mm-hmm. and go through what, mm-hmm. I don't know if you're on the call earlier when I was talking about the Oh uh, yeah, data. I actually meant to ask you about that because I heard you say that. Go to the, um, I think it's Sales right channels. Here, right? Well, let's see. But Shopify's back end has been slow today, so. Uh, go ahead and select the bottom one, uh, settings. At the yeah, there and then click sales channels yeah, in the middle it. column, and then select Facebook. Oh, Facebook you don't have Facebook. Or... No, you don't. You, you don't have Facebook here. Okay. Okay, yeah, so you'd have to add Facebook. Okay. Sorry, yeah, I probably thought I did because that Facebook shop was on there. Yeah, no worries. This is something new with Shopify. Nobody has it set up, so it's something that's, you know, uh, okay. it's pretty important to roll out because when we have implemented I've heard you this with talking other clients, kind of about the, yeah. Yeah, it's unreal what, it, what the results are looking like for clients. It's a huge difference. So this will actually doing this will it's gonna, improve our Facebook analytics or will we want to be looking at analytics in Shopify? No, this is going to improve your Facebook ad account, pixel and data. So like right now, iPhone 12s are being shipped out, you know, um, yeah. a lot of people just ordered them. They're going out in this, you know, the okay. new iOS update, of course, it's preventing yep. a lot of the tracking from Facebook. Um, okay. And a lot of people have privacy and now people are submitting like their Apple, you know, authenticated emails that like don't even give you like the public one. Um, so mm-hmm. like the match rates get destroyed on Facebook. So, you know, you can't match an anonymous email to a Facebook profile. It's, it just doesn't work that way. So that prevents you from, you know, tracking a lot of sales, which hurts your optimization. And alongside that, you mm-hmm. have ad blockers, like people who use ad blockers because they don't want to see ads. It totally. blocks a lot yeah. of the data transfer. So what that's going to do is once we activate um, Shopify's, API, their backend API, it's going to track all of the data no matter what. Even if they have ad bloggers, doesn't matter what iPhone they have, doesn't matter what iOS update they're on, doesn't matter how powerful the, you know, the privacy is in terms mm-hmm. of uh, preventing the Facebook from tracking, Shopify's yeah. backend system has to capture the data somehow, and they always do. So they're totally. allowing an open plugin there for it to send the data to your pixel, which will improve your gotcha. match rates. Your ROAS will go up. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Your purchase costs will go down. Okay. You'll have more data, and it'll just be a much better round result. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, cool. I'll, yeah. go, I'll Did, finish. Do I just need to finish going through? Um, what was it? Yeah, what does it say once you have it? Yeah, continue that. If we want to do it real quick, because there's a couple of I'm things you have to, to do remember what my password is here. Um, I think it's this guy. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I want to make sure it's the pixel. Yep. Okay. Leave all these on there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and just going back to the agency thing, it's also outside of the ad account. They'll be sending you creative recommendations too, so that way you're always up to date. Oh, cool. Recommendations on how the creative's yeah, doing, creatives, future creative. Refresh it. So that way it's always on time and like things are staying ahead of schedule. Okay, yeah, perfect. window scale yeah. getting approval for budget increases ahead of time, all of those things. Site optimizations, it's the full works. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, and I it's like gonna that. be pixel recommendations. Yeah, kind of felt, in the past I've always kind of felt like out of the loop and everything, so. Yeah, no, there's okay, a dedicated cool. person you speak with on a weekly basis as well. Okay, and email cool. daily. Uh, go ahead and do settings. Now click settings here. And then scroll and hit data sharing settings. So this is the fun part. And then go ahead and activate 
Okay, so you probably first, off? yeah, you probably first have to accept the terms. Hit marketing settings. Yeah. What? <laughs> the error here. That's weird. I wonder if there's. It's not going to let me do you? this until it's. It's asking me to finish setting up customer tracking because when I do that, it brings us to the data sharing and it says customer okay, tracking. Okay, select your accounts. Above marketing it might settings. still be populating. Uh, Everything's shown as blank right now. So I wonder if it's. it's I don't know how familiar you are with Shopify. It sounds like pretty familiar, but sometimes their back end just runs super slow. Um, yeah, so it's loading. So one, but once this is done, I just need to come into data sharing and then turn this on. And then select maximum. Okay, cool. I'll just make a note of that. So um, turn on data sharing, set it to maximum. Okay. 